Welcome to this edition of Back in History. In this edition, we bring to you the life and time of the founder of one of Nigeria's foremost financial institutions, Chief Michael Balogun, who recently passed on to the great beyond to be with his creator. He trained as a lawyer in the United Kingdom, but became a billionaire bank owner in Nigeria. Chief Michael Balogun was born on 9th March 1934. He was born at Ijebode in present-day Ogun State. At the time of his birth, Nigeria was under the colonial rule of the British Empire. When he came of age, he was enrolled at the primary school and later enrolled in secondary school. He was a proud alumnus of the famous Ibubi College. Upon his graduation from secondary school, he proceeded to the United Kingdom to study law at the London School of Economics and Political Science. He earned his law degree successfully and was called to the English Bar. He later returned to Nigeria. On arrival in Nigeria, he took employment with the Western Region of Nigeria's Ministry of Justice as Crown Counsel. From the Minister of Justice, Western Region, Balogun crossed over to the Federal Minister of Justice and from there he was designated as Parliamentary Counsel. He was still in the Minister of Justice, Federal, when the first military coup was executed in Nigeria. The coup was bloody in every material particular and the Minister of Justice was saddled with the responsibility of offering a legal roadmap for the country in this inauspicious moment of the country's history. Balogun and several of his colleagues offered the needed legal roadmap for the country in response to the situation that befell Nigeria. Balogun later joined the Nigerian Industrial Development Bank, the NIDB. His experience at the NIDB later became the turning point of his life. At NIDB, Balogun took special interest in investment banking. In due course, NIDB established a subsidiary and named it Icon Limited. Balogun garnered reasonable experience in these financial institutions and began to think of the possibility of delving into the banking sector. He blended his knowledge of the law with the practical experiences garnered in the financial sector. When the time became ripe for him, he left his salaried employment and founded City Securities, a stockbroking and issuing house in Lagos State, Nigeria. He understood the fact that City Securities was a new outfit which needed to be showcased to as many people as possible. Balogun led his team and embarked on aggressive marketing for customers. He visited the headquarters of multinational oil companies operating in Nigeria and in no time, the oil companies became his customers. He had the likes of Toto, Mobil, Texaco and others as his most trusted and most viable customers. City Securities flourished within a short time and became a leading institution in Nigeria. It witnessed tremendous expansion and from its head office in Lagos, it established branches in other parts of Nigeria. In 1979, Chief Balogu applied for a merchant banking license to operate and run a commercial bank in Nigeria. He fulfilled the needed requirement and was granted the license. He established the commercial bank and named it First City Merchant Bank. Structures were put in place to allow for the smooth takeoff and smooth functioning of the bank. In 1983, the bank commenced operation and ran successfully from then till this day. Chief Balogun was deeply involved in the day-to-day -day running of the bank. He had his eyes on the bank 
and round it with the best attainable corporate governance practices. He made huge returns every year and in no time, the bank was established in all the 36 states of the Federation of Nigeria, with some states having multiple branches. The customer base of the bank is huge and over the years, the bank has been able to gain confidence of its customers. The bank witnessed years of transformation and today, the bank is known as First City Monument Bank, FCMB. Chief Balogun made huge gains through banking and lived the best of life while alive. It is reported, for instance, that he owned the White Palatial Mansion located at Milverton Road, Lagos, with the name Otumba's Joel. The house faces the Glover Roundabout in Ikoi. The house was designed by Nigeria's foremost architectural firm, Fola Alade Associates, the firm that designed the National Stadium Surulere. The firm also designed the popular 1004 flats, Victoria Island. It also designed the Federal Secretariat Building, Ikoi, Lagos, amongst other very prominent institutions. Otumba's house was constructed by Kappa and Alberto PLC, one of the leading construction companies in Nigeria at the time. It is reported that the design of the house was inspired by the Pennsylvania Avenue's White House, which stands still today in the United States as an architectural masterpiece. Some part of the house is cladded in white Calacatacara, a distinctive brand of Italian marbles which remains the finest and most expensive worldwide. The house, it is also reported, was painted by Pharaoh and Ball of the United Kingdom. Farrah and Ball UK makes the world's most expensive paints. Otumba flew them into Nigeria with their paints to clad the walls of his house. The interior of the house was finished with liquid gold, African black wood, and rose wood. It is also reported that the interior of the house was furnished by Boca de Lobo, Fendi Home, and Henry Don. The house sits on an acre of land, six standard plots, Lagos measurement. Lands around the part of Ikoi where the house is located is said to go for upwards of 500 million naira per plot. Otumba was indeed a man of wealth and a lover of test. Otumba was a lover of good life. He lived in splendor and majesty, and everything about him was unique. He made money and also enjoyed his money. He had other mansions in the choicest locations around the world and drove in luxury vehicles. His skyscraper office in Lagos Marina and his Ijebode country home a magnificent edifice to behold. It is reported that he had custom belt Rolls Royce vehicles parked in his houses and offices around Nigeria and other parts of the world. Otumba had also contributed immensely to Nigeria as a country. For many years, he paid millions of naira in salary and allowances to staff of his bank. It is reported that before his death, the bank had a staff strength of 3,600. Hotumba's first city monument bank is worth 5 billion US dollars, which is equivalent of 2 trillion naira. The bank has branches in all states of the Federation of Nigeria, with some states having multiple branches, Lagos being one of such states. He was indeed a distinguished and highly successful businessman by all reasonable standards. He donated freely to charity and in that process he impacted several lives. He single-handedly built a national pediatric center in Ijebode, his country home, and donated SEM to University College Teaching Hospital of the University of Ibadan. 
Otumba Balogun succumbed to the cold hands of death in London on 19th May 2023 at the age of 89. He will be sorely missed by his children and family members. He will also be missed by the legal profession in Nigeria and in the UK. The banking sector in Nigeria and Africa will also miss him. He will also be missed by many other groups of people across the Federation of Nigeria and other parts of the world. Otumba came, Otumba saw and conquered on many fronts. His name shall remain in the annals of successful businessmen in Nigeria and in the world for many more years to come. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in History and do remember to follow the page or subscribe to the channel for regular notification on every new video.